Hi Peter. So the first thing we'll talk about is disconnecting the gas lines from the cold head. And you might have this instruction manual from Cold Edge. And in a section titled Gas Lines, on page 5, you'll see a diagram that indicates the order in which you need to uh, loosen connections in order to uh, disconnect the gas lines from the cold head and maintain the uh, very expensive high pressure gas inside the hoses because there is in fact right here a special valve that as soon as you disconnect this hose from the get from the cold head the valve seals and the gas doesn't leak out so I'll show you exactly what they're describing here um, they supplied us with some wrenches this double ended 1 and 3 16 wrench that's the big boy and then we've got the 1 and 1 8 wrench and the 1 inch wrench. Okay, so the first most important one is this 1 and 3 16 wrench. That's going to go onto this big uh, nut here. This guy is the uh, connector for the hose. This is where the special valve is that will block the gas from leaking out. So the key is, is that the very first step is you're going to put the 1 and 3 sixteenths on here, and you're going to put the 1 and 1 eighths inch on here, on this part, not that part, this part, right here, let me get this string out of the way, this part, okay? You're going to use the 1 and 1 eighths wrench to hold this nut still while you turn this nut off. Okay, so remember, because it's a right-handed thread, you're going to turn it off the, turn it off this way, okay? So when you do that, as soon as you loosen that, you might actually hear a hiss and then the valve will seal shut. But after that, once you've broken that seal, as the instruction manual says, once you've broken that seal, then you're going to get out your one-inch wrench to hold this nut still while you turn, 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 turn this off. Okay, so you hold this still while you break the seal, and then you hold this still while you turn this off. Because I think the worry is, is if you just then work on turning this nut off, you might actually loosen it from here, and then all the gas will leak out of this seam right here. So, hold that tight, loosen this, then hold that tight, loosen this until your hose is off. Then you do the same with the other hose, exact same rule set, and the same over by the compressor pump way over there, same rules over there. Okay?